All right, new stuff. I love this release. I know every artist says that, blah, blah, blah. Platitudes, platitudes, but it really is true. <laughs> I've been killer excited about it. First up, we have chipboard shapes, and we have three sets. Basic shapes, we have branches and botanical types, and then we've got um, weird, weird people, faces and figures. So, and the retail is three, four, and five bucks. So, super affordable. Love them, love them, love them. I was telling people I was sewing on them, and they're like, what, well, you can't sew on that. <laughs> yes, you can. I sew, I've sewed through three, li three layers of chipboard before. The only thing you can't sew on is wet glue. <laughs> <laughs> wet glue, don't sew over that. But other than that, you can sew on anything. So, sew on them, paint them, use them as masks, deliciousness. This seems to be everybody's favorite. Six by six inch journal. Bunch of advantages to this to this little little puppy. First of all, if you have new people, it's a little less intimidating. Um, for some reason, people find this one intimidating. Not, <laughs> I'm not sure why. Um, I mean, it's the witch. It is a lot of real estate, though, right? So this is like the farm, and this is the this is the loft in Manhattan. Right. So, <laughs> studio. Yeah, this is the, this is the studio apartment. So, um, and the paper in this is so thick. And I tell people it's thick paper, and then they touch it, and they're like, "Oh." So it's pass it around. Thick. It's really thick, um, handmade in India. So you're going to get variances in texture. You're going to get variances in thickness, and that's just part of it. And that's half the fun. The paper is highly absorbent because it's that co high cotton content. Somebody asked me about the sizing, and I'm like. I don't know. I don't watercolor. I slather it with acrylic. I spill stuff and then go, yay! Um, so it works great for what I love to do for it. I would say gesso optional. If you gesso though, your paint acts the way it's supposed to act and it moves easily. We did our class Friday and I didn't have them gesso because we didn't have much time. And didn't you guys notice the paint grabbed really, really immediately? Mm -hmm because there's no gesso. Whereas if you gesso, it'll float around a lot. So up to you, however you want to do it. There's no right or wrong. Um, people were saying that this um, would be good for travel too. This, a set of scribble sticks and maybe old Tim's water brush. And you're set for a cute little travel journal, themed journals as well. And they really fill up fast, which is kind of fun because this one, I think this journal fills up decently fast. That big one does not. It's just more real estate. That big one fills up a little slower. And sometimes I think art journaling is the project that never ends. Like if you make a card or a scrapbook page, you're done. You make a journal and you're like, oh, there's still another page. You know what I mean? So it's you, having something finished really does bring you a sense of satisfaction. So they, they, they almost filled up too fast for me. They sent me one and then I, I filled it up really quick and then I emailed Kathy. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna need like, way more of those because they just, I always work in lots of things at a time. So I'll, if something's wet, I throw it behind and work on something else. So I'll have five or six journals spread out all around, um, which is why I have to lock the cats out sometimes. How many pages? I don't know. It's on the <laughs> belly band. <laughs> because they're so thick. 36. 36. 36. Yeah. We thought about we, we tested different different signature amounts and decided yeah. that this was... Well, because the pages are The pages really are really thick. thick. Mm -hmm. And that's why it fills yeah. up pretty fast. I like yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I like it too. Your regular, regular surface is nice. Yeah. 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 It's a fun change. Yeah. 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 Let's have variety. Right. We, we've, got, we've got this, which is, is I still love, love. This is, you know, my standard, but man, I've had fun filling these up. Um, we got a few extra from class and Patty's like, do you want them? I'm like, uh, Reed, put those in the car right now. <laughs> yes, I want those um, because they're just, they're good for experimenting too. Um, try, yeah, trying yeah, stuff out. The so. size of it. Yeah. It goes with the style and, and, and sturdy pages that you can yeah, play on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, if you've got new people coming into your store, they don't get art journaling, this is a lot less intimidating. Yeah. It's very beginner friendly, user friendly, and I mean, no matter who we are, we can, we can play with it, right? So love, love, love the new journal. Anything small is cute, right? That's why babies, that's why we don't murder our young. <laughs> think about it, but you actually don't go through with it because they're kind of cute. All right, this is my favorite from the release. I, I think people might find this a little bit intimidating. I'm not sure why, but they're saying they're not going to cut it up, and that breaks my little heart because I really, really, really want you guys to 
to cut this up into pieces parts. So there's a book that you can get at Barnes & Noble called The Flow Book for Paper Lovers. It's in the magazine section. And I, every time one comes out, I buy it. I don't touch them. So I'm just as bad as the people saying they're not <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. So do as I say, not as I do. But um, I just love, I love those, those books. There's all kinds of papers in them in different sizes. And I showed them to Ranger and they said, sure, we can try something like that. And I sent them just a box of torn out journal pages, gel prints I had done, pieces, parts, art. Because when I do this, when you do this, you have to make original art for it. Yeah. So they have the originals for all my tape. They have the originals for bags. They have, you know, all that stuff. And then Kelly turned it into this. So for example, this is a gel print. It's probably eight and a half by 11. She changed the color story, printed it a few times. She um, shrunk some stuff down into squares. She oh, nice. shrunk some down into circles so that you can use pieces, parts of it. And you can use, you know, just fractions. So how I like to use, is, use it is I'll make something and think, oh, it needs a focal point. Oh, I'm going to use that face. <laughs> you know, done. Or I'll make something and think, you know, that needs a pop of orange. And then I page through this until I see orange. And I'll be like, okay, that's kind of orangey. And I don't care there's a face draw on that. I'm going to cut it up because I need orange. Right? So well, you get two kinds of paper in here. You get a text weight uh, paper, and then you get a cardstock weight paper. And the cardstock weight paper, this is the second time I've lost what I'm talking about. Uh, you can paint right off. Does it work? Mm -hmm. Might be stuck in here. Um, there's a sample on the board too where I tore out the cardstock weight, weight paper and then I masked one of these figures directly on the paper. It was here a minute ago. All right. I don't know. Who does? And so it takes paint really well. So that, this is new. Um, if people are like, I refuse to cut one up, say, well, then you better buy two. <laughs> one to cut, one, one to keep. To love. One to love. One to use. One to set by your flow book for paper lovers that you've never touched, like me. Okay, new acrylics are coming. Um, end of March, early April probably. Um, we had an ingredient go bad in them. So we had to recall them and the ingredient is now back ordered. Because I think the company that made the ingredient knew it was bad. Therefore, we're waiting for them to get it in stock so we can have all the components to, to remake the paint so that it is correct for all of you, so that you don't get it returned to you. And internet doesn't say Dina sucks. Um. <laughs> is it all your colors or just the new ones? Just the new ones. Yeah, it was the new bad. There was just a bad chemical. It curled everything. It happens. It happens, yeah. Um, so these are the new colors swatched out though. They're nice and pastel. They're very <laughs> opaque. The opacity is fantastic. You all know, know I love opaque. And they're, I've been using them like my new neutrals actually. So they're a great addition because we have tons of darks. We have tons of brights, Madonna, Neon Pop. Now we've got these lights. So uh, these I was calling them succulent colors from the desert. I would sit on the back patio and look at my big thing of succulents and think, I like that. So that's kind of was the inspiration for those. Stamps and stencils this year. I did a couple of uh, botanical type abstract florals because I've been teaching abstract florals in my class rotation this year. I've been teaching the whole world how to paint blobs with leaves. <laughs> And I just really, I enjoy them. I, I wanted to be a florist at one point when I was in college. So I love flowers, so I do some florals. This one is uh, very versatile because it matches the stencil mask, the stencil and mask set. So I love repetition in my work. You know that I always say, pick one thing, repeat it in different ways. Do not introduce too many elements or that's when it starts to look like puke on a page, right? So by having the positive and negative of the stencil and the stamp, you can really play with that repetition of imagery really well. We did faces again, of course, because they're my jam. I love them. Um, but we made them bigger. So yeah, you get two in a set or one plus some phrases, but they're big so that they will take up more real estate. They're easier to color. I just needed bigger ones. We've got plenty of little ones. Been there, done that. So big faces this time. A set of two here and then some more phrases. Did I talk about the bands? So the bands are new as well. If you pass them around, you can feel. Rachel Greek from Darkroom Door said, they're like leggings. So I was like, that is a great way to describe them. If you feel them, they are, they're like leggings. Remember Seven Gypsies had cool printed bands? I still have some somewhere. I love Seven Gypsies. Um, theirs were more like a printed rubber band though. And these are like leggings. And then they were, they were teasing me and saying, we could do a fitness line. 
<laughs> and, um, we could we could have resistance bands and we could, lifting. yeah we, we yeah right. during, in that one yeah. Yeah. yeah you could you and I said could you imagine this face stretched across my rear end like, <laughs> it, it, it would not be a good look you know I do myself I do the world a favor and I don't go in public in leggings you're welcome. Um, but but they're nice to keep your journal shut. There are three sets that match all three sides of the journal. Um, my large ones went missing, so is either I lost one? them, which is most likely. Diamond, is that Oh, there it is. Or somebody stole them, which is not likely, but I like to pretend. Okay, so that is just my my acrylic my acrylic paint just on that paper. So it works it works really good. So what time is it? They've been yelling at me for finishing early. You have ten minutes. Okay, we have 10 minutes. So what should we talk about? What are these? So, oh, tags. They're my business cards and postcards. Oh, so feel free to take a postcard postcards? for you to take. Yeah. Um, we take, they're all different. Yep, you can take buttons, postcard, Holy business card. I oh, forgot I about the tags. So white tags. They're thin, great for collage. Most of my tags end up in my journals. And so when they're thinner, they'll take up a little less bulk. So, because people always say, well, I don't get tags. What do you do with them? They're an instant Everything. journal page, baby. Everything. Pop it in there, your journal page is done. So I, I love tags. We did two SKUs. This is one set. These two sizes, eight and 10. I think this is a three and a five. I can't remember. Um, I love itty bitty tags. I love to put Tim's foam stamps on these and almost like labeling. You know what I mean? I just, I love a small tag as well. So we did, I really wanted itty bitty ones. So two different SKUs. If you pass those around, you can feel they're thin. They're not coated. Some white tags have a glossy coating. These are not coated. So your colors will stay true on them. And they, white will make your colors pop, which is what I like. If you look, look at some of the white tags. Yeah, your colors really pop on the white. So that is what is new. And then before Christmas, you did a pouring set. So pouring came out in June. Oh. Um, <laughs> before Christmas. It was before Christmas. <laughs> Has not been to the show. I'm going to be demoing that today. Okay. Um, there is a 20 minute video though on Ranger Inc's YouTube channel about pouring if you haven't tried it. It's really, really fun. The designer challenge is pouring in the middle, so go take a look at everybody's pieces. Uh, there's really Are you doing it earlier in the afternoon pouring? Um, it, I haven't decided yet. It just makes a hot mess, no, and I, I need to go find the box. Yeah, it's easy. It's dead easy. So it's it's serendipitous. Boring this. You don't always know what you're gonna get, which I like. I like I like to live on the edge, just like that. So yeah, we'll be doing that today. <laughs> Why don't you show us the stencils? Okay, oh. let me show you the stencils. <laughs> so a lady from the other group was saying these look like demon kitties in the package. But then, on the journal, they really don't look like demon kitties, so... Um, <laughs> kitties I'm that I'm sorry, kitties can be demons. But mine aren't. Oh, mine are no. lovely. Yeah, Actually, mine is as well. There he is. Okay, yeah. So look, they're cute. It's Aww. cute. Aww. Aww. Yeah. So my kitties are not demons. <laughs> um, but I, I had hand cut a stencil, a mask last year, uh -huh. and everybody that looked in my journal asked about it. Like, are you going to do that? What is I'm like, okay. So anyway, we have kitty hats. This is my cat Zelda. So big and small, they'll probably discontinue it in six months because yeah. nobody bought it. But I like it. I think it's fun. So I had to do kitty masks. We like Zelda. I, yeah. Uh, cat lovers will buy it. Everyone else will think it's stupid. There's too many dogs. In. Yeah. And then I did just some basic shapes because that's what I like. And then I did the, the botanicals, the scribbled branches as well. So that's the new stuff. There we go. I think I talked about all of it. They keep, they keep yelling at me because I end early. I'm like, what else do I say? <laughs>